Hello and welcome to Video Jog. The Windsor is the don of all knots, fat and wide. It projects confidence and works best on a tie of thin material. We're going to show you how it's done. You're going to go from this to this. Step 1. You will need a tie and you might also need a mirror to check the end results. Step 2. Prepare. Turn up the collar of your shirt and do up your top button. Drape the tie around your neck with the main seam facing inwards. The wider end should be on the side of your dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, it goes on the right side. And if you're left-handed, on the left side. Step 3. Position your tie. If you look carefully, you will see a seam on the front of the narrow end of the tie. Here it is. Cross the wider end of the tie over the seam. This will ensure that when finished, your tie is the correct length and reaches to your waistline. Wearing it too short or too long will not look good. Step 4. Up, under, over. From the starting position, pass the wide end up through the middle of the loop around your neck. Bring the wide end to the right, then pass it under the knot to the left side. Thread it over the loop around your neck again and back to the right. Let's have a look at this step again. From the starting position, up, under, over. Step 5. Across and down. Throw the wide end across the knot to the right and up through the loop around your neck. Finally, thread the wide end down through the middle of the knot. Let's look at that again. Throw it across, up through, thread it down. Step 6. Tighten. Tighten the knot by holding the narrow end and sliding the knot up. Turn down your collar and take your time to do any final adjustments. How does it look? Excellent. Step 7. Removing your tie. One more thing. When taking off your tie, slide the narrow end out and undo the knot. Don't just loosen the knot and pull it over your head. This will damage the fabric. Done. Perfect. You're good to go.